I feel like one of the most common questions that new players ask when playing Tarkov is how do you control recoil? You know, you always hear the things like how streamers have no recoil or clips you've seen on YouTube look like they have less recoil. And I feel like new players especially kind of struggle with understanding what they need to do differently to fix their recoil. But I've got a little tip that I didn't even realize I do until somebody pointed it out. And I think it could be extremely helpful for anybody that wants to learn how to control recoil recoil in Tarkov. Let's get into it. So obviously, if you've played Tarkov long enough, you know that the way the recoil in the game works, if I just hold my mouse right up to the camera, you know, I'm not controlling anything. I'm just going to shoot the wall and let you guys see what happens. As you can see, the first one or two shots kind of sent us up here into the ceiling, and then the recoil started to work its way back down a little bit. But if you're a new player trying to control that, it's just going to be absurd. So I'm going to show you guys how I go from this recoil pattern to this recoil pattern. And again, holding the mouse right there. You can tell the recoil was significantly better. I was not necessarily controlling the recoil as I was shooting. It's just this one little thing that I do when I start shooting that kind of levels out the recoil overall. I know I've heard a lot of players who play talk about, you know, maybe just aim for the knees and then your shots will kick up into the chest, which isn't bad advice but it's not good advice either and i'm gonna show you why so if you aim at this target right here and you shoot the knees you guys can see that the recoil does go up into the chest a little bit if i were to just full mag dump the knees i would put shots all over this player so the advice sounds good right but if you go back to a target that's farther away and you've trained yourself essentially to aim at the knees you guys can see we're missing half our shots back here Although we're still aiming at the same knees, even on this closer target, you're gonna be shooting low because your recoil is a static amount. Your recoil is the same. There's no way for your gun to know how far an enemy is. Therefore, your recoil will be that much regardless of distance. So that much on this target would put you on the chest. That much on this target is not even gonna put you on the body at all. And that much on this target is going to put you everywhere essentially so in theory if your recoil is a static amount your gun goes from here to here period there's no there's no changing that other than modifying the gun but either way the same gun used across multiple raids the recoil will be the same it will be a set distance whether it's the target here or here or here or even here as long as the gun is recoiling this much and you're pulling your mouse down that much at the start of every shot, you should be able to negate that initial recoil spike, therefore leaving you with a pretty good recoil pattern. So mark this line right here where this, you guys see where the green is right there and then where the floor is. When I start shooting, the first bullet I shoot most of the time, I jerk my mouse down about this much. And this spot on the wall is kind of how I judge how much to pull it down. Practice doing this right here. Just practice snapping your hand down. You guys can see that every shot I do, if I don't aim back up, I'm at the floor right now. I'm pulling down the second I'm shooting. And the gun is kind of settling down here by the floor. Now I'm kind of just taking my mouse and tucking it back into the back side of my hand right here. You guys can see where the, the fat of my hand right there, I'm, I'm literally just taking my mouse and sliding it back this much. And on screen, that's equating to this right here. And as I'm doing that, I'm sliding my finger along the back side of my mouse. So I'm almost pulling my mouse into my fat hand with my pointer finger. And what I'm doing at the same time is just clicking the trigger. So I'm going. On my mouse, you can see the, the mark where I literally drag my finger along my pointer button. And what that ends up looking like, if we shoot just a few rounds at this guy back here, you know, your recoil does that. If you do the little pull down method, No, I, I wasn't even looking at my game for half of that. And just to kind of demonstrate how good the recoil pattern is, I'm going to do the initial snap down, and then I'm just going to show you guys my mouse, and I'm not going to control the rest of it. So we'll just go for shots on this target here for right now. As you can see, the recoil just kind of works its way down in the way that you can kind of negate that. You've already tucked your mouse back, so as your recoil lowers, you can just 
start to slide your mouse back forward, if that makes sense. So you guys can see now I'm snapping it down and I'm just gradually moving my mouse up to negate the recoil. And that's essentially it. And obviously every gun in Tarkov kind of has a little bit different recoil. You might need to adjust a little bit, but this is just one of those muscle memory things that I do in game that I've noticed kind of just works for every gun I use. I'll show you guys the P90 just for example, you know. It's... As you guys can see, it's a very level recoil versus whatever that is right there. It just kind of keeps you on target with whatever you're shooting. And that's really all there is to it. It's nothing more complicated than just take your mouse like this whenever you shoot and just snatch it back for those first one or two shots and then work your recoil back up. As compared to what I feel like a lot of players do where they shoot and then they try to re work their recoil down. But the problem is you've already missed five or six shots by that point when you could have been hitting them just by doing the opposite. If you take everything I said in the video and you try it out in the hideout, you'll probably see that you can replicate it pretty easily in game. I mean, it's really not that tough of a muscle memory to learn. Just remember that the second you pull the trigger, just jerk the mouse down just a little bit. It's going to be a little different depending on everybody's sensitivity in game and your DPI of your mouse, but you should be able to find a pretty stable middle ground that you'll see works for most of your guns. If this tip helped you aim a little better in Tarkov, maybe leave a like on the video so that it gets pushed to more people and more people can see it. And if you think you've got a better idea for how to help new players control recoil, feel free to leave it in the comments. And as always, if you like my content or you like videos like this or you like me or you think I'm pretty or maybe you're just having a good day consider hitting that sub button to stay up to date on the future videos i appreciate you guys and i'll catch you in the next one peace out baby he's dead how the was he hitting those shots yeah another one dead oh the nade killed me Drop the other. Good two piece. Drop the other. He's there. He's dead. Other one dead. I'm out of bullet. He's weak. He's dead. Dead. I love you. <laughs> Metal stairs. Big Chad too. <laughs>